Jesus is the Lord, the Lord be magnified. Welcome to Smiles Television Talk Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Anthony Miles, and the first broadcast of every month is dedicated to Christianity, its services, people, and activity. Today we're going to be talking with Dr. Tisha Robinson. She's an East St. Louis native who is starting a new academy in our area. You don't want to miss this broadcast. This is a scripture that God has put on my heart, and I would just like to share it with you. It's from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14, and it states, If my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Stay tuned for more smiles. You don't want to miss this broadcast. The Monitor newspaper has been in business since 1963. They know the newspaper business. Support the Monitor. Support our own newspaper right here in East St. Louis, Illinois. Welcome back to Smile Television Talk Show. I'm about to introduce you to a wonderful young lady from East St. Louis, Illinois, who has a bright future here in our community, and she's, she loves to help people, and she loves children. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Tisha Robinson. Dr. Tisha Robinson, thank you for joining us on Smile Television Talk Show. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm happy to be here, so thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming, Dr. Robinson. Before we get started, Tell us um, a little bit about yourself. You're from the East St. Louis area. Right. I was born and raised here in East St. Louis. No particular community or area. We grew up all around. Okay. And, and where did you go to elementary school, high school, and college? I, I attended Morrison Elementary. Then from then I went to Clark Middle School at the time. And I graduated from Eastside, class of 2004. Okay. So our 10-year reunion is coming up this oh, year. Oh, you're just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, where did you end up going to college, Dr. Robinson? So I, um, I earned a BA in psychology from SIU Carbondale. I went on to uh, earn a master's in social work from St. Louis University. And I now have a PhD in admit at me in education from Capella University. Where is Capella University? It's located in Minnesota. Let me ask you this, aren't you kind of young to have a PhD? I am, but when you go straight through and you have guy over you and keeping you on focus, then you can earn it that early. Is, that is such a blessing. How did you, um, um, your, your love for the community and your love for children, how was that developed? I think I, I, I really think it's a gift from God. Um, even when I was younger, 14, I remember working um, at the Jackie Jordan Kersey Boys and Girls Club and I love helping people then. I was only 14 helping others who were around my same age. Um, so I think it's a gift from God, a gift of wanting to help others and um, to service people. And Okay, okay. And, and speaking of gifts, um, I'm learning that we all have gifts mm -hmm. and um and god expects us to use our gifts right. for the betterment of his kingdom um so have you identified your particular gifts i believe it's a gift of exhortation and mm -hmm. that means to you know as you know to encourage others and i think that's probably why i'm a social worker now because i speak with people a lot and try to uplift them and I also believe that I may have the gift of giving. Um, I enjoy helping others and giving and allowing people to just become a better them. I okay. enjoy doing that. Okay, and, and I understand you are about to, or you have actually um, um, 
we've gotten a 501c3 right. for a nonprofit. Tell us a little bit about that. So um, the name of the nonprofit is New You Academy. And um, we started out, started actively trying to open New York Academy about a year ago. We became incorporated last February. Um, we have a founding board. I believe we, we've received incorporation, I'm sorry, the 501c3 mm -hmm. in August. And uh, we're about ready to open. Okay, okay. We're planning on opening um, this fall, if those guys will. We'll tell you what, we, we want to talk a little bit more about that, but we need to take a quick break. Stay tuned for more smiles. We're going to talk with Dr. Robinson a little bit more about the New Year Academy. Don't go away. So, the African American men have the highest rate of prostate cancer in the United States. Did you know that approximately 30,000 men in the United States die each year from prostate cancer? Did you know that prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men? Did you know that prostate cancer can be cured if only detected early? I was diagnosed with prostate cancer 10 years ago, and I never thought that would happen to me. If you're a man 40 years or over, I suggest that you go down and get tested. It's as easy as one, two, three. I am glad I got tested so I can live to enjoy my retirement and see my grandchildren's grow. Early detection can save your life. For more information, visit the website at www.eshd.org. Dr. Robinson, before we went to break, we were talking about the New York Academy mm -hmm. and, um, and the excitement of things that are gonna be going on. What is your vision for the academy? Well, my vision is that we will provide a complete and effective education to youth and build their character um, spiritually, academically, and socially. How did you get that vision? Again, um, it definitely came from God. I don't want to continue to bring him up, but I no, just really... No. Okay. Wait, wait, on this broadcast, you can bring up God Jesus Christ of Nazareth, born of a virgin. He was crucified, buried, and rose on the third day. We can say that all day long. Okay. So you never have to worry about, I don't want to bring up God. Okay. That, that's what the other people do. Okay. We can bring them up as much as we want. Because okay. okay. I, I definitely know that it came from him. It, okay. This is nothing that you know I thought of. It's definitely vision from him. Um, I knew that I was different coming back from Carbondale after earning my BA degree. Um, and I thought I was different because, oh, I um, have an education and, you know, I went on to do better things with my life compared to some of my friends who stayed here. But then after becoming, um, getting closer with God and really having a relationship with him, I knew that I was different because I'm, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so putting those two together, mm -hmm. being, um, having a, a quality education and then also being a Christian, I think it sets you up for, um, for a different type of life, okay. a life more abundantly, I think. Well, let me ask you this. Coming from me, St. Louis, Illinois, um, our community, you, as you know, we have poverty issues, we have crime issues, and I'm just wondering, so when you came back home after you received your degree, mm -hmm. how did that impact you? Um, did that motivate you even more to want to do some yeah. things? It definitely motivated me. I remember coming home with my roommates who are from a different area, and they, they said things like, you know, that house is burned down, or you have bumps on your road. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was normal, because mm -hmm. I, I, I stayed in the area here until I went off to Carbondale. I didn't know that this was not normal to live like this. So coming back, I knew that I wanted to make a difference. I need for them, the youth here, to know that this is not normal. You can have better, and you it has to be people like um, myself and other people who've gone on to do better things with their life to come back and give back to the community in order for it to become better. And you know what, um, what a better place to start than with the babies. Oh, yes. Because mm -hmm. if we can plant that seed, and the youth and the babies, and then you can change the whole direction mm -hmm. of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, tell, me, tell us a little bit more about the New York Academy and how is it going to be structured? Okay, um, so first off, um, I definitely want to note that it's going to be um, God-centered. And what I mean by that is we're going to start every day with a devotional. 
Now in public schools, you cannot bring up God. You know, it's not allowed. And I want um, my students and my staff to know that you can pray. You can be in the middle of teaching. If you feel like praying, pray. It's okay here. And I want um, my students to know that um, the best way to begin the day is by um, spending time with God. So we're going to begin every school day with, like that. We're also going to have year-round schooling. Right now, um, the students get off in the summer for a couple of months. They forget a lot. So it's better to have them go to school throughout the year and maybe take smaller breaks. We're also going to have um, art integrated curriculum. And that's when you apply music, dance, and art to the common subjects. So that will um, keep them interested, I think. Um, also, we're going to have a social worker. And she's going to meet with every student. Um, if they need more help, then she's going to meet with them individually. But for the most part, she will meet with them um, in big groups. And also, we're going to have a mentor for every graduate during their first year of college or training. And that's important because a lot of us, we drop out, you know, in the first year of college. Mm -hmm. But if you have that mentor who's going to help get you through, I think you'll be more likely to make it. Okay, the, the age group um, that you are targeting, it will be from elementary through? So we're going to start off with grades 7, 8, and 9. Okay, I see. And then we're going to add a grade every year, ultimately being from 7 to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. And I think um, we're the only Christian school in the area that targets both junior high and high school. Okay, well, that's excellent. I um, have a couple more questions for you. Don't go yet, okay? And don't you go away either. We'll be right back. Thank you for coming back and staying with us. We're talking with Dr. Tisha Robinson, who's starting a, an academy here in the East St. Louis area. Uh, Dr. Robinson, um, we were talking about the youth and targeting the seventh, eighth, and ninth graders. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the accreditation process, and are you seeking that? And, and if so, how does that work? You don't have to be accredited, and the reason why is most private schools don't make it past their first year. Um, and that's why I need definitely the support from the community. But after uh, we open for a year, I'm going to complete the application with the State Board of Illinois um, Education. And they're going to come out to visit the school to make sure that everything's in order. And then from that point forward, uh, we will hopefully be granted accreditation. Okay, and are you seeking additional support in terms of financial support from the community? And if so, how can people make contact with you? Yeah, we're definitely, we need uh, financial support because the parents will have to pay tuition that will be income-based. And we want it to be um, as low to little money um, coming from out of the parents' pocket. So we definitely need um, fundraising and grants and donations. Okay, and is there a website or a telephone number that mm -hmm. you would like to make sure our, our viewer, viewing audience has? Okay, so our website is newuacademy.org. That's N E W Y U Academy.org. And my phone number is 954 2255. Okay, give the phone number one more time. Okay, 954 2255. Before we go, are there any uh, lasting comments that you would like to make and any of your ultimate goals that you would like to share? My um, ultimate goal is that for the youth in, in East St. Louis to be transformed, mm -hmm. for them to know that um, there's a way that they can um, get to know Jesus Christ and also be, receive a quality education, and there's more to life, mm -hmm. that they can move on and become someone. You know what, it's a real pleasure meeting you, and it's just great listening to your heart, and I, I just thank you, and then we're gonna really um, try to help out in terms of um, getting support. For you. Thank you. And you're going to come back to smiles, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. And you have a beautiful smile. Thank you. We'll be right back. I want to thank my guest, Dr. Tisha Robinson, who started an academy right here in East St. Louis, Illinois, the New You Academy for 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. There is a scripture in the Old Testament that says, For all thy children shall be taught in the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. We need our children to be taught in the Lord. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried and rose on the third day. But we want to confess with our mouth the belief that Jesus Christ is Lord. And you have to believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. 
I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Keep smiling. You look better when you smile. Never doubt him. 